Hi there everyone on YouTube. This is a very quick tutorial on how I solved a problem with processing videos from the Gear 360 camera with the latest version of Action Director uh, which could not be imported into Adobe Premiere. So first of all let me show you uh, what is the problem. So first of all open up the new version of Action Director. You can see this is available through the latest uh, Samsung link. Gives you three options, uh, 360 VR video, HD video, or live broadcast. So I'll choose 360 VR video. You'll see the new white logo, it indicates this is the new version. Um, that will be loading. My computer is rendering right now, so it may be kind of slow. Okay, so there we go, so that's in there. And now I've already gone in here and I've set up um, my, my file paths. So I've set the paths to be import and export. And I've also uh, turned on the compensation of the wobbling and under hardware acceleration I've checked OpenCL and enable hardware decoding and encoding so uh, that's good and so I'll drop in the file from the uh, Gear 360 here and right away it will start processing it As you can see that's the raw file right from the camera you get the two lenses and here it says uh, if you hover over here 360 file generating. Depending on how big the file is, it may take longer than this to process. So it's just going to process that. Actually, I can speed that up by pausing my current render in Premiere, which is going to run at the same time. So I'll pause that and this should go a lot faster. Okay, so that's now loaded. I'll just re resume my render here on my video so I can get that going. So as you see, the new Gear C60 Action Director will produce a stitch file with YHC as the uh, last three characters of the name. And if you look at it here, it looks fine. There I am, there's my room, everything like that. So that's good, it's a quick little video. However, if I go click here, open file location, and there's the file. Maybe I'll copy that or I'll move that file into a different directory. See, I have to close this first. No, I'll try again. So I've copied that over, moved that over into another directory. This is my tutorial directory. Now I open up Premiere. So I'm using an older version of Premiere. I'm using CS 5.5 because um, I purchased this a long time ago and I don't really want to pay Adobe for the monthly uh, cloud subscription. So I'm still using this old version but it, it's perfectly capable of editing these kinds of videos. So I'll just set up a, a project for that. So I'll go under problem and enter the name. Okay, so let's just, we'll just load. I need to set my preset. I set a Gear 364K with all these settings, which is customized for my camera. I have another tutorial, which I'll link below, which shows how to set that up, but that's not the point of today. Today, I wanna show you what happens when you try to import one of those videos from the new Gear 360 Action Director. So I've got the video here, the one the YHC extension, drop it into Premiere, and I guess this error, it says, the file has no audio or video streams. Okay, so there is a way you can solve this problem, and I figured out what it is. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, say Firefox or any other browser, and open that up and I'll create a blank window I'll go search on Google for FFmpeg go FFmpeg and I'll click download this is that Windows so I'll select Windows Windows builds and I imagine you click here and I'll say 64 bit mm, should be fine download FFmpeg and I will click save file and I'll save it in the directory where I was doing my video so 
problem directory, save it in here. So that should have downloaded by now. Yes, it did, so good. Go back to my folder, and now I have ffmpeg in there. Click extract all, and I don't want to show extracted files. Extract, unzips the file. This directory is created, so I'll go down here into bin and grab ffmpeg.exe. I'll just go control C to copy. Go back to the folder again and paste it in there. Now this is where you want to do something similar to my other tutorial. You want to create a batch file to run a command for ffmpeg. If you're using a Macintosh, you may want to um, use the terminal window instead of a batch file, but I will talk about that later. So I have already created a uh, batch file that I use called process.bat. I'll copy that out of the other folder, paste it into the new folder. If you want to see what's in process.bat, you can click edit, right click and go edit. And this is the command that you can use to fix the video. So basically what you want to do here is you want to modify this command. I'll put this command in the video description on YouTube so you can get it out of there. So you want to take the file name of this stitched video, the one that doesn't import into Premiere, uh, select that file name and replace this part of the file name there, and and then paste also paste it into this file name here, and then this one let's add underscore fixed. So this command runs ffmpeg with this input file, it will copy the video and copy the audio, and it will create another mp4 file with the fixed file name and then it does a pause so you can see what it did. So I'll save that process.bat and I'll run it. Just double click it and ffmpeg will run. Notice this briefly just said here, if you scroll up, invalid spherical metadata found. So this uh, is probably the reason why Premiere won't import it because there's something wrong with the spherical metadata on this file. So most likely it is something to do with um, what the new action director does. Something funky about that, but in any case, FFmpeg, FFmpeg now poses the file, it's all done, so just hit the uh, any key. And you'll notice that a new file has been showing up called stitch YHC fixed. If I run, if I drag that one into Premiere, now it will import correctly. And here's my video. I can um, edit that, or you can see that there. So that is the trick to use FFmpeg uh, to re-encode, but not re-encode, just to copy, but it just creates the, a better container around the MP4 file, allows you to import that into uh, Premiere. Hopefully, in newer versions of Action Director, they will have solved this problem, but this gives you a really fast and easy workaround for the problem. Hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, please leave your comments below and I look forward to sharing many more tutorials with you in the future. Hope you have a great day and bye-bye uh, for now.